I got my start in voiceover in my bedroom with a $300 mic. And while I don't recommend aspiring to a bedroom studio, it's a good way to get started anyway. It gave me the opportunity to make my first 10K and reinvest that into better equipment that even sound engineers love. Here are simple ways you can improve your sound for Zoom meetings, simple recordings, or any other purpose. Yes, even if you're in your bedroom. Number one, sheets and blankets. One of the simplest ways to reduce echo is by yeah, putting up sheets, blankets, any other form of dampener on your walls around your room. Number two, know where your mic is. I know it sounds simple, but it's one of the biggest issue with audio quality. People are talking too far away from their computer's internal microphone. These mics aren't designed to pick up sound from really far away, and when they do, it doesn't sound as good. So be clear in your settings which audio input you're using and talk to that audio input. And finally, number three, I made my space smaller. I used dividers. I talked into a corner of the room to make sure that the sound isn't going up and echoing everywhere. Record in a closet or a smaller room if possible, but at the very least, at least talk to a wall or put up some dividers to make your space smaller. Never record facing a wide open space. Now, I also invested in really good audio editing softwares to reduce background noise and make my audio sound crisper. It was more effort at first in my bedroom studio, but it definitely paid off. This way, I was able to make my first $10,000 so I could invest in better studio equipment.